Hey friends, it's Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. I like to play volleyball. I'm not much of a tennis player, but I like to play volleyball. I like to take that ball and throw it over my head and give it a nice big over the shoulder hit to try to get it onto the other side. But sometimes when I serve the volleyball, more often than not, I hit the ball with the palm of my hand and the ball hits the sand before it ever goes over the net. Sometimes my service isn't quite what I think it should be or what I intend it to be. As I think about that, how is your service when it comes to following Jesus? When you serve as a follower of Jesus, are you seeking to meet the needs of other people? See, you can meet the needs of other people in a variety of ways. And Peter writes to us from 1 Peter 4, 10 and 11, and he writes to us about meeting the needs of others through our words and through our speech. Here's what he said in 1 Peter 4, beginning in verse 10. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Then do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then use it to serve others. Well, how do we do that? How do we use our gift of speaking to serve others? Well, we do it through a word that I call encouragement. Encouraging others, strengthening others through words of affirmation, through words of encouragement, by giving individuals an attaboy, through that smile on your face. God has called you to serve others if you're a follower of Jesus. What about your spiritual gifts? How are you using your spiritual gifts to minister to others? There's many people that use their words to tear down, to hurt, to gossip. Yet God calls us to use our words to build other people up, to strengthen other people's faith. So share with them a highlight from your quiet time with, Lord, with the Lord. Share with them something that you learned from a sermon. Share with them your word for the day. Whatever it is, work on your serving. Sometimes we don't realize we're not really as good at serving as we think we are. So get that ball across the net today. Focus on your serve. Focus on how you can help others and bless other people today. And I think that you'll be blessed as a result. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.